Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zivit TV. My name is Azmir and today we are going to continue in the Eleco Barbell series. Specifically, we're going to talk about the Eleco Performance Weightlifting 20kg Bar. First of all, I hope you guys don't mind that I'm sitting down doing this review. Um, I guess it's a bit odd, but it is the last 10 days of Ramadan and, you know, uh, I'm a little bit tired. In any case, uh, we're going to speak about, we're going to talk about the um, Eleco Performance Weightlifting 20kg Bar. Uh, ever since we started doing the Barbell series, I've got a few questions uh, from um, viewers about this, this particular bar and I've meant to do this review for a while now but I've just been putting it off because we've because of all the other videos that we've done so um, let's let's just get started with this okay this is a 28 mm grip diameter bar okay this is just a normal weightlifting bar uh, this is a standard Olympic size nothing out of the ordinary for, for this particular bar, except that what differentiates it from the other Eleco bars is that it uses needle bearings. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there are eight needles in the bearings. And um, if you, if I can just demonstrate, uh, there you go. So, it spins quite smoothly. Um, more so than the XF bar. The XF bar, remember, it uses both bearings and also bushings. And um, th that's meant for more cross-training type of workout. This is a specific weightlifting bar. Now, I was informed when I was in, um, in uh, Hamstad, uh, I think it was a year, almost a year and a half ago, that the bearings on this performance weightlifting bar is exactly the same as the weightlifting training bar. Thus, when you get this bar, you're essentially getting something very similar to the IWF bars. The only difference that uh, you might notice is the knurling. So this, the, knurlings or the knurling in, on this uh, performance bar is, in my opinion, as someone who sometimes dabble into weightlifting, uh, doing it casually, it is more aggressive than the XF bar, but just by that much, okay? I like this bar. Um, if I want to do weightlifting, I would choose this bar over the XF bar any day, okay? Um, it has a great feel to it. Uh, obviously, it's made from Swedish steel, the ultra clean Swedish steel, um, it whips nicely, it spins very nicely. Now, the, the reason for the, um, well, at least what I've been told about the needle bearings, is that the spin is constant throughout any uh, load. That means that I, even if you are lifting, let's say, 50, 60 kgs, the spin should be the same when you're lifting 100, 120, 150 kgs and and onwards. So that's the characteristic of a weightlifting bar that you should be looking for. Um, obviously, I cannot say for other bars out there in the market where you can see that it spins for days. Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, I can't, I'm not qualified to say, you know, whether that is good for you, whether it's not. But I can tell you with, with this particular bar, I mean, it the sense of weightlessness when you do your cleans or when you, when you do your snatch. And I'm, I'm sure you've read a lot of testimonies, a lot of comments about the Eleco bars. This is what you get with this bar. So who is this bar meant for? I want to say if you are an intermediate to advanced uh, weightlifter, this is the bar that you should get. If you are a beginner, I would always recommend that you get the XF bar. Now. If you are looking to do weightlifting for years to come, then even if you're a beginner, I would suggest that you get this bar from the get-go. If you run a weightlifting 
um, training center, for example. Now, a lot of uh, what I've observed uh, from most of my customers is that if they're a weightlifting training center, they go direct with the um, they go for the IWF IWF training bar or the competition bar, which is well and good, right? If you have the budget for it, then go for the the best. Um, not to, which, which is not to say that this this falls short of any standards, but I, I suppose that when you are training athletes, for example, you want the um, the bar that has the most most aggressive knurling, which which is being used for competition. But in my opinion, if you are if you are a weightlifting center training center for amateurs people who just love to do weightlifting, then the performance weightlifting bar is more than enough uh, for, for that purpose. If you are training athletes, I reckon, and this is just my personal opinion, for those who are in the youth level, for example, I think they can benefit with just this bar. Uh, obviously, if you are uh, an elite athlete or a national athlete, then you might want to get the uh, IWF training bar. The competition bar obviously is reserved if you are truly competing um, in, in any meet. But otherwise, I would always uh, say that, you know, get this performance with team bar and it's just bang for your buck. That's all I have to say about the performance weightlifting bar. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments about this bar, you know what to do. Just leave your comments in the comment section below. If you need to get in touch with me, my email address is in the description. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please click subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification button. That way you will be notified every time we post a new video. All right, that's it folks. Um, thank you again for watching. I'm running out of uh, Eleco bars to talk about. Maybe in the future they'll come out with new bars. I don't know, who knows. Till then, Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in the next Zilfit TV episode.